Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 111. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. Download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. This YouTuber actually sent me the formula for averaging with two conditions. And all I said was, hey, is this a good way to do it? Man, he had an awesome way to do it. Let me show you. Here's medication, age, and dosage. This is just a little data set. He wanted to calculate uh, for an average of dosage for people less than 70 using this um, drug right here. So there's the age hurdle and the medication. Here's how he did it. And then I'll show you the 2007 method. And then I'll show you how I would have done it, which is not as good as the way this YouTuber did it. Equals average if, open parentheses, and we're going to do an array here. So we're going to say, start with the uh, age hurdle. So we highlight that whole range right there. I'm going to hit F4 just to jump back down there, even though we don't need to lock it. And we're going to say less than this. And parentheses, so the purple parentheses around that times, because that this will yield a bunch of true falses, right? If we highlight that and hit our F9 key, which is evaluate, you see there's true, 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 oh. So they're all less than 70, yeah. Control Z, you don't want to leave it like that. But the next condition will uh, reduce the number of trues. And it's going to be who have that particular drug. So I'm going to highlight this whole range right here. F4 to jump down there. Equals this one. Close parentheses, so they're multiplying. And if you did uh, your little F9 trick to this, you can see true, true, true. Oh, there, but there's only a couple trues. So the trues times true will come out to be true, uh, or one. And the falses um, times true will come out to be false, or zero. Control Z to quickly undo that. All right, so if all of that junk right there, then what? Simply our range right here. And that's the range that will be used by the average function. Close parentheses, close parentheses. Now you have to hold Control and Shift and hit Enter, because that is an array formula. Now in 2007, by the way, here's how, here's how I would have done it with a bunch of sums. It's uh, more than is necessary. I was uh, adding them all up up here and then counting them down there. Escape. But let's look at a 2007 method. Equals average. And there's an average ifs, brand new. So average ifs. It needs the average range and then the criteria. So we'll start with this average range. And then we're going to have two criteria, one for this and one for that. So comma. And the criteria range number one. Well, we'll do age. So I'm going to scroll up here and get the age. Control Shift down arrow. Notice I didn't use the F4 there, but that's a quick way to jump down. So that's the criteria range. And what? And we're going to say, in quotes, less than, end quote, ampersand, this 70. So that's the, uh, that means less than 70, comma. And then the criteria range 2, well, it's that d uh, drug column. Contr click there, Control Shift down arrow. Boop, that's, that's, that's messy. I'll move this screen tip. They always get in the way. And the criteria for that is going to be comma. I can't even see it. It's up here somewhere. There it is right there. Whoop. Close parentheses. So the way this new average if, there's the range to average. But there's criteria range 1, criteria, criteria range 2, uh, and then criteria, and then enter. And sure enough, there you go. So that's how to do the. Uh, 2003 method with an average and an if, and Control-Shift-Enter. And then 2007, there's an average if. So all right, we'll see you next trick.